So good afternoon. You are here for a drawing tools or drawing within the Google tools. I should have typed that the right way. I think I had a little. Oof. <laughs> All right, so drawing within Google tools and it is March 4th. This special session was supposed to be held March 3rd. Um, but thank you to everyone who kind of um, gave me some grace and allowed me to kind of shuffle it around. So I know that um, some of you are taking this remotely or taking it asynchronously. That's that's great. And um, my process today is to really work through the three main drawn pieces within Google. There are three people are always a little shocked and I'm not going to include Google slides because a lot of people do think of Google slides. But the three that I'm going to use, and I'm going to come right up here and show them in my screen because I've opened them, is Google Keep. And if I come back here to Google Keep, so I know some people did a session with me recently on Google Keep. So there's a drawing feature in Google Keep. There's a drawing feature within Jamboard. And then there's a drawing feature within Google Drawings. And one of the things I'm going to focus on today is kind of is the progression from one tool to the next tool to the next tool. Because they, um, even if you teach kindergarten or first grade, you can start in one tool. And then if you start to show students the similarities to the next tool, and then to the next tool, you can actually walk them through a progression and get them to understand the pieces. Now, and that's really important as learners, um, the benefit of using Google is that we start to see the similarities across the products or, or the products. And um, that's one of the reasons why I designed this training, because it's nice to see the similarities across the product and how you can teach them across to students very simply. So the first one I'm going to start with is Google Keep. And the address for Google Keep is keep.google.com. So I know I'm going to start my timer because I'm going to give me, I'm going to give myself 12 and a half minutes per component. Um, a Google Keep is a post it on steroids, but if you click on a keep and then come to the three dots. So sometimes it's called the three dots, the vertical ellipses, the snowman, the traffic light, whatever you call it. I'm going to call it the traffic light because I am over snow. I'm going to click on that and I can add a drawing. So once I'm in here, I have very few tools. I have an eraser, which right now I have nothing to erase. So it's not going to do me very much good. I have a pen and you can see I have all these different pen colors. So I can come and I can just you know, like take a blue pen like this. And I am just using a mouse. I'm not using anything special. And I don't have a stylus. I don't have a touch screen. I just have my mouse on my desk, just drawing. So I could say to my students, I want you to build a house. I want you to draw a house. I'm going to do the same kind of task in all three of these tools. So you're going to draw a house with multiple colors and multiple thicknesses. So you can see here. I have, um, I use that little down carrot and I have lots of colors. So I'm going to make a maroon house and I'm going to use a thick line. I'm going to do the outline of my house like this straight across down. You notice I have no straight lines. That's okay. So there's my house, the start of it. Now I'm going to put on a roof. I'm going to go in a, li a little different color. I'm going to do it like this. I so draw the most basic of houses ever known to man, right? I'm going to do a little coloring in. I'm not going to do a ton of coloring, just a little bit. I'm going to put a chimney on it. It's always nice to have a little, some different pieces. I'm going to use a black. I'm going to put a chimney right here. You notice I'm changing that thickness of my lines a little bit every time. Um, and I do never, I never assume that anyone would ever think that I am an artist because, whoo, no Nelly. So there's a nice little chimney. That's then, good, bad. That's not too bad, right? I'm going to put some yeah. good notes in. So I'm going to do this blue right here. I like this. I'm going to go a little thinner. I'm going to put two little windows in my house. Right? There's two windows. I draw the same house all the time. 
I'm going to put like panes in it. Not bad. Not bad. I need a door. Oops, I got a little problem here. I need to just take a little bit of my eraser off and I don't want to clean the page. So this is a newer, if I click this, I think. So I just clicked one click on eraser and you'll notice it takes me back one little line, which is kind of nice. So I don't have to go all the way back and I don't have to worry about like moving the mouse or erase things. I can do it pretty simply. So I'm going to click this again, try the blue and I'm going to draw that down a little better. Okay, that's not too bad. And then the last thing I'm going to put on is I'm going to put on a door. So let's just be a whole pile of crazy and have a nice teal door. Here we go. Nice teal door. I'm going to give it a doorknob because that's just beautiful. And let's have some grass. So you can see I've kind of done like all different kinds of widths, but it's not hard to draw with, right? And I am just doing a very simple house. Um, one of the nice things in here, you have a basic pen with lots of colors, lots of thicknesses. You have a highlighter with lots of colors, lots of thicknesses, right? So I could do like a little orange in here. The difference is that this is a much lighter color when I come in with a pen marker. Oh, I, I like pen marker highlighter. Here's the highlighter. So I can grab the highlighter. It will go a lighter shade like this one. So I want to just go a little bit. I could just go over something. It just definitely gives me a different shade, which is nice. So those are the basic like drawing tools. And then I have some backgrounds that I can add as well. I have a square. So if I wanted to do something with math, I could do that. I could zoom in and zoom out. I could do a couple other things, right? That's pretty easy. Um, I have some dots. So remember the old game where you used to take the colors and you'd go from line to line. So I'm going to go from here to here. I used to play as my father all the time, right? And you'd get try to get the most. I'd go, he'd go, I go, he'd go. And we try to get the most. You I have a question. Right? And you try to make the most boxes. I don't have a yeah, I have a question. Uh, can we do the background first and then draw on on the background? Oh, not in this. So that's a really good question. Can you put in your own background and draw on it? Not this one, but the next one we go to, you can. So keep okay. that in mind. We're going to do that in the next one. But so, we can do it in, in this one. We can choose any the background and on that drag, um, background, we can draw. Yes. So I, I drew on none, but I could also have draw on rule and I could actually write on that. So the sky this is not really great right it's not too bad the sky is and then the students could draw or they could write right so they could do either one of those things so okay. you have i'm going to go back to my notes now so you'll notice you have a pen if pens markers highlighters erasers and three backgrounds i think it's actually four backgrounds if i if i count that right if I include the none, it's four backgrounds. So four backgrounds. Yeah. Right. So I don't count the, the blank as one, but we'll count that. So that's the basics of Google Keep and what you can do. Now you can also come over here into these three dots again, and I can export as an image, which means it will save it. And you'll notice as soon as I go like I just said export, it wants it says to me. Oh, you want to download this? And it gives me one option. I can download as a PNG image. So that means I can save it. I can push it into something. The benefit of using a, um, a Google Keep is that I can automatically take this image right here and I could go into my Google document. I'm going to go all the way to the end so I don't mess it up. And I can see my Keep house. Right, and then I can open up my keep over here and my keep house should pop up underneath what I had just pinned. Oh, I have to push out of it before it'll save it. Now it'll show it to me. Um, I'll go back out, I'll go back out, there it is. So I can take it and then I can push it right into my document. And there's my little keep house that I drew. So that's pretty simple, right? Easy to use. What's mm -hmm. nice about it, it's, it is limited in its colors. It's limited in its tools. 
So to me, and I've said to other people, I really believe that if you're going to do some drawing with students, this is a great place to start because you only have a few tools. You don't have a ton, right? You have a couple, you have a pen, uh, you have a pen, a marker, and a highlighter, a few backgrounds, lots of colors though, which are kind of awesome. So if you were an art teacher or an elementary teacher who wanted to get your students to start doing some drawing, it's great. You could also do math in it. I'm not, I mean, not saying you couldn't. You could do anything else, or you could have students draw beginning, middle, ending of a story. All of those things are good options. So now let's move on to the Jamboard. And I finished that one faster than I planned on, so that's awesome. So I'm going to cancel, and then I'm going to restart it, and I'm going to go to Jamboard. So my next tool is the Jamboard. So if we look at the Jamboard in relation to the Keep, you'll notice what I did is I went through and I added like, what are the new tools that this one has compared to the last one we just did? Because I think that's, it's helpful to kind of see the progression of how they work on. So we have some pens, right? So we have a pen, we have a pen, but this time, the pens are all together. We have a pen, we have a marker, we have a highlighter, and we have a brush. But the difference here is we have six colors and only six colors. Mm -hmm. And we have this new brush, which is really, the brush is really nice, right? I like that it really kind of it feels like, I mean, it doesn't feel like a paintbrush, but it looks like a paintbrush in the lightness. Um, and then I can layer it and you see what happens. It gets a little darker as I layer it on top of each other. So that's really nice. And it also shows you the color that you're using, which I do really like for students. Um, and they can see the difference between them. It will write over, so that's pretty simple. We have the eraser, which we had before, right? We have an eraser. So we have a selector tool, which means I can click on something like this. Uh, well, maybe not that. I have to click on something else. It's not going to work on that one, but I can move some things around. Okay, so here's the new tools for this drawing tool. I have stickies, so I can put stickies in here, which means I can how, how get stickies? put a note. So how do you get the sticky? It shows up right over here on the sidebar of the Jamboard. Can you show me again? Sure can. It's on the left-hand side. It's the fourth one down. Oh yeah, I, um, right. I got so you, can, you can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. Um, one of the things I like to use these with is I like to put a, an assignment and students could, you could put, um, directions up here and then have them draw underneath that. That's kind of our focus, but you could also say, draw me a beginning, a middle, an end. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna in a minute draw a house, kind of the same way I did before. You have stickies. Another new tool that you have is you can add an image. So just like anything else we do in Google, you can pull any image through. You can upload your own image. This is one of the things I love about this product is that you can add your own images in. So we're gonna add these guys in. Um, this is my daughter and her niece, my granddaughter, even though they do look oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they they sweet, right? Yeah, they are. Our little munchkins. Um, yeah. This is Auntie. <laughs> so Auntie <laughs> took her for a walk in the woods and she loves to be outdoors, but you can have- Yeah, niece is also, yeah. And you can the... draw on it. Right? That's awesome. So that was just an image. So that was my image, but I could take any image because I could search by a URL. I can do a Google image search. So let me find a mountain. Well, look at these. Aren't these beautiful? Look, that one's great. I'm going to yeah, skirt. Yeah. And in goes the picture. It's going to take a second. I can move it. And now I could write on it and I could say, ooh, this is a peak, right? right? This, these are trees, or this would be the valley, and these are different, different peaks. They point to the peaks. Where's the snow? And I mean, I just, I made it small. So you can do all of those things. 
you can write on a picture. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now I can also make a house with shapes because this product has shapes. So I'm going to make a house really quickly. I'm going to take the square and then I'm going to take my triangle like that. And I'm going to click on that select tool this time and I'm going to move it because my houses are going to kind of look alike. And then I'm going to do two squares, square one. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's it's like sneaky Pete there. I click on it, I get three dots and I'm going to duplicate it. So I have two windows the exact same size. And then I can go back and I can get a different, um, a different, I'm going to use this bar, but then I'm going to be super, I'm going to grab the rotate tool and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to make it a door. This will be a tall, skinny door. So there. So again, that's a house, a little different. So while this one is a little bit limited in its colors, it gives us a lot more tools, which are really cool. It also allows us to have more than one frame. They're called frames in Jamboards. This is called a jam, and these are called frames. I could put in a new frame. I could add a frame. All I have to do is hover across the top and then I could set a background. So this is, I think, uh, you have a few more background options here. You have the dots. We saw those. We saw the lines. Um, you have a blue graph. You have a gray black, a, a blah, blah, that was hard to say, gray graph, a blue board, a chalkboard. Ooh, that's so cool, right? How nice is that chalkboard? <laughs> and I'm going to go here. I'm going to use that chalkboard, which is cool because then you can put the colors on it and they're really, they really pop. That blue board, if I do another one, that blue board is great for a student with disability who can see yellow on blue better, right? Look how great that is. So that would really stand out for some students. They're going to be able to see that better. You could yeah, do yeah. inverse where you could, you can't do yellow, but what you can do is they can come in here and you have this plus. I can add an image and look what happens. It gives me the same Google search as before. So if I come yeah, in yeah. here and I say, um, I'm going to do a mat, let's do a flower. Clip art. I'm going to use the term clip art for a reason. Oh, it wasn't perfect. Well, this one will work. So there's a flower, and I can't move the flower because I set it as a background. But I could okay. put a post it up here and say, label the parts of this flower. I'll tell it to save. I can put my sticky in the corner. So those are like my directions for my students. They could do two things. They could come either in and they could either do arrow and write pedal, right? They could do all those things. They could grab the text box, which is down at the bottom. We didn't do that one yet. They could click here and write pedal. And they could move it and put it, they could actually put it right on top, which is really cool. Right? They could do stem, they could do leaves. So you could do any kind of labeling in here. You could draw within it. Um, you also have this kind of really cool feature. It's called a magic pen. So you'll notice as I draw with it, it starts to disappear. Yeah. Kids love that because you can draw attention to something. Right? So you can mm, say, that's cool. here are your directions. And they, if they're not paying attention, they're not going to see where they are. So that's a really nice feature. So you can take anything using this feature, this add image, you could put anything in and students could put in whatever they want. If you wanted to work on some fine motor skills, we're gonna set this as a frame background. So it's gonna take it and you're gonna see the students, I want you to color it in. So think about students who are really struggle with some of their fine motor skills. They can come in and they can work their way through this. Like really, I mean, this is small. This is some small work they'd have to do, right? Some yeah, fine yeah. motor skills, but how cool is that, right? So they can do some literally online coloring, pretty easy. So mm -hmm. the the progression from 
um, keep to Jamboard. Well, it's lim I meant to write limited pen colors, right? Um, limited pen colors. I didn't want to put this in here. Sometimes I forget a piece. You have a brush this time. Um, you have the resource. You have six backgrounds plus the ability right. to add your own, which is awesome. And then, mm -hmm. so the new tools, what gets added from Keep to Jamboard? The brush is new. So mm -hmm. in the tools, the stickies are new. The images are new. So the fact that I can put anything in, the shapes are new. The text box is new. The selector is new so I can move things around. But a few of these things are very unique. In Jamboard, mm -hmm. Um, what did I say? Sorry, I forgot what I had. Oh, stickies. Stickies are unique to Jamboard. Right. Kids love stickies. I had a teacher tell me the other day, she's like, you know what my kids miss? They miss being able to write with stickies. And I'm like, they do. And she was like, yeah. She goes, but my sticky, the amount of stickies I've had to buy like post-its has gone down significantly. I'm like, we'll take them into Jamboard. She's like, what? So I showed her this. And what she did is she made a jam board and put a student sticky, put their name on a sticky, and they each had their own frame to work on. And then they worked in and they drew and they wrote in it. She said they wrote so much more because they felt like they were writing on their own stickies. And then she did some other things that I really I, I thought were really kind of cool ideas. She put like, she put beginning. Uh, no, she did red. I have to say that the right way. She did beginning, she did B, save, and she did yellow, middle, uh, right there, middle, and then she did green end, like that. And she told her students, you're going to click, you're going to double click on that, and you're going to write me a beginning, a middle, and an end for the story we're just working on. And then I want you to draw underneath it what you were talking about. So I want you to give me a visual representation of that. Right. That's what she was doing. What a great idea, right? Because we would do yeah. that anyway with our kids. It's simple. Um, so it's a great way to kind of teach teach those process. So she then she said yeah. from, she used the second, she used it again the second time. She took the letters out. And the the reason she did these colors is she wanted the students to see like just like a stoplight. She's like, I want them to think. So it's got three parts. She said, I'm always looking for these three parts. So the next time she did a beginning, she made it, or she did like a, a main topic. She used these three things for each one of the paragraphs. She wanted them to have three details. She's like, they got it because it was so visual for them. She said in the drawing, super helps some of my kids because some of them could draw it out and then they could write it out. And I gave that option to them that they could do either or, and it really helped a lot. So that's a simple way to include that. So also another way is with math. And I have one second. There it goes. Um, with math, you can do the same thing. You can um, you can go through and you can do that same process with math and to just break down a process and they can write out the math parts. Cancer. We're going to start again. So that's Jamboard. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Right. Lots of ways to do this. Okay. My my uh, my timer's decided it hates me, so we're gonna push that again. All right. So we go back to twelve minutes and thirty seconds. So that's the Jamboard. So those unique pe features are the stickies, the magic pen, and I also put this down here. Version history is coming soon. It's not here yet. But you're going to be able to go into a jam and I'm assuming it's going to be up in here and you're going to be able to look up who did what. So you'll know who did what and when it was done. Um, you also can save an image as a frame. So if you were like, well, this is the best thing since sliced toast right here and you wanted to save it um, just like before I could export it here, you would save frame as image. So say a student does a great amount of work, you can save it and you notice you have a PNG file again, right? Same exact kind of file, which is great. Just gonna save it as Jim. Your, your class does great work. You can download the entire thing as a PDF. Right. So every frame would be a different page. It's a great way to like show work. It's a nice, this is really, Jamboard is a whiteboard, which is kind of awesome because we need that in a lot of cases. 
just a space you can brainstorm on it and you can invite students to it pretty easily. You can just come in, make sure you copy the link and then just change it. So anyone with the link can edit. And then you can just click and add the link into a chat and everyone can be in it and drawing it at the same time. So it's a great tool. So okay. the next one is really the Cadillac of drawing tools within drawings and or within Google and it's called drawings, right? So this makes sense. I'm gonna just have a drink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open another slide up. I'm gonna open up a slide because if I come in here and I come into a slide deck and I'm just gonna make my layout blank so I don't really see anything. And I'm gonna leave these two side by side. I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna use an extension called tab resize. They look very similar, right? So this is drawings, the red one, and it has a very similar feel to slides, okay? So it's got a lot of the same toolbars, a lot of the same pieces. All right, so I'm gonna make that go away because I don't need that anymore. So what's new in here? Do I have pens? Well, I do, but they're kind of in a different location. They no longer look like pens because now they look like the exact tools that I would see within a, within a um, Google slide. So this, yeah. is, this is very simple. And people are really shocked when I say, oh, the things that you can do when you come in here and they're like, well, you can't do anything. I, I don't see anything. I don't see any pen. And I'm like, well, your cursor is now the pen. So when I come in like this and I click a shape, right? And I go like this and I click a shape to add a shape. As soon as I have something to add, all my bars pop up. That's the same exact thing here. If I insert a shape, within slides, all my toolbars pop up. So I like to call these invisible toolbars. They only show you what you need when you need it. So you're not seeing everything else. So I made this rounded corner, right? So we're gonna just take this and we're gonna do like the same thing I've done for the others. I'm gonna make a house, right? I'm gonna make a house. This one's gonna have rounded corners. I'm gonna do a little bit of each this time. So this is a shape. It's going to be, I'm going to make it a little different color. You can see here's all the colors. I have more colors. You can also do custom. So I can come in and I can custom color it. If you happen to know the hex color, some people know those, I don't. Mm -hmm. But if you say like, I want more of a red, I can slide up here and get a red. Plus I can play with the transparency of it and say where I want it to be. So I get more along the lines of what I want. Let's take, we're gonna have a red house. Yay, there's my red base of my house. And now I'm gonna do a roof. So I think I'm gonna do this with, I'm gonna grab the same kind of triangle. I'm gonna make a roof like this. Ooh, he's gonna be, he can hang off a little bit. And you'll notice because I just made red, he stays red and that's okay. I'm gonna resize it just a little. Then I'm gonna click the color, fill color and I'm gonna come into a brown. So now I have red and brown, pretty simple. Right? So same idea. So this time I want to, um, I can also change the border color. Like, so maybe I wanna make the border color blue just for fun and I can change the thickness. So do you, do, do, sorry, these fix, the features are not on the on um, game bo board and keep? No, no. Yeah, all right. So, this is this one we will go on um, uh, Google Drive and um, Into the I, didn't, I didn't get the, the, the drawing one first. Um, we can find that drawing on Google Drive. Yep, you can find it here Ooh. new. If you come into more, it's right there, Google Drawings. Okay. Yep, and you can also come in here and it will, it does not exist in the waffle. So um, I also want that document at the top of it. I gave like the shortcuts in. So this one's keep.google.com, jamboard.google.com or drawings.google.com. They all kind of work the same way. It's okay. the name of the tool, .google.com. Okay, drawing, Google, drawing. Yep. 
So when you're in there and then you can put in like your other shapes. So I have all these shapes I can put in, right? I can come like this. I'm going to put a window in. I'm going to do two of those. This time I'm going to right click to copy and paste. Can't duplicate in this one. This this product is just like Google Drive, um, Google Slides and Google Docs. It's so similar. Um, let's go do a door. We'll do a little door. You have all the drawing tools, all the shape tools that you have other places you have here. But then there's other things you can do. I can actually go and like if I have a Bitmoji, I can grab my Bitmoji and I can bring my Bitmoji in. So my Bitmoji can be in here. Right? I don't want to be as large as a house. I'm pretty big, but I'm not quite that large, right? So here's a little, I have a back, I have a bitmoji next to the house. I can actually put the bitmoji on the house. Right? Kind of cool because I can layer it all up. Mm -hmm. um, I can also, just like before, I can insert an image. So I can insert an image and we've We've done this before, so you can come in and you can look for any image. So let's look for a tree. Let's put a tree in the background. Um, oh, this is a nice one. So we're gonna take, we're gonna insert it and I'm gonna have a massive tree. Well, it's not gonna be massive. We're gonna make it massive. We're gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna put it in the background, right? And then I'm gonna, so the way drawings work it's um, every image is a layer. And I like to think of it like this. I'm gonna take a couple post-its out. Sometimes it's helped because um, Google Drawings and actually in um, Slides as well, it works on the concepts of layers, which is if you've ever used Photoshop, it makes a lot of sense to you. But for some people, they, they're like, I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. So everything is a layer like this. So like right now, my red, which was my house, was at the back. So that's the back layer. And then I put the triangle on top. That's the next layer. And then I put like all of the windows and everything else. My bitmoji is actually a layer over that. And then the last layer on top right now is the house. But I want to move the house and I want to, I mean, the tree. The tree is the last layer. I want to take the tree and I want to put it behind the roof. So I can't, right? I don't want to see it like that. So I have to do something called ordering. So I can right click on it and I can order and I can send it backward. Maybe I can order, send to back. We'll send to back and there. And then my tree is in the back. So it's not on top of my house. Yeah. So that's first of the layer. Like if you go in a publisher, publisher has a layer. But uh, Google Slide didn't, right? Right. Um, yeah, you still have layers in Google Slides. If you come in here, they don't call it layers. They call it order. So let me put a couple of things in and you'll see what I mean. I'll add a couple of things in here. Like if I put this one, I'll just make it a different color. It's easier. So I can send this one to the back. I right click on it and I go to order and send to back and there. Oh, okay. Oh. So, so yes. if there's a more than two uh, layers, then how, how we I arrange? It gets a little fussy, but you can do it. So here, I'll put that arrow on. We'll make it another color like that. So maybe I just want like that coming out of here. I would send to the back. There you go. You can, it just can, it can get a little fussy but you can do it. It typically is the order you put them in and you may have to tweak with it a little bit, but you can, yeah. So and that's the same concept here, is just okay. pushing the order through. Okay. All right. right. So right. I also can like do some free draw. I can come up. So instead of having a brush or a pen, I do have like, um, I have, that's just a highlighter. Like I can come in when we can't, um, I, Basically start with a line and these are the lines that I have. So if you want to be able to draw straight lines, woo, let's try that again. If I want to be able to draw a straight line, right? I have to grab the straight line. So there it is. And then I can change the color and I could change the thickness and I could change the type of line, which is really cool. 
I can have dotted and spotted and railroad tracks and line dashes. I can do a different line start. I could do a different line to end. So those are really neat. Like, so they made these a lot more options, which is kind of great. And then I can pick this up and I can move it. You'll notice it just moves as one line, right? Pretty cool. So that's the basic line. What else? I, yeah. Uh, want to make um, duplicate uh, of the line. So if I want to duplicate this, I can right click on it. Okay. And copy. A copy. Okay. Yeah, so it is kind of the same idea. It's kind of like everything else we use in the Google tools. We can do it the same exact way, which is nice because you can make your own little graphics in here and then you can push them out. Um, you also have in here a squiggly line. So you have an arrow, you have a curved arrow, you have all these options, but this scribble arrow here allows me to do, well, that was interesting. That scribble arrow, I want the scribble arrow, thanks. I don't want any start or ends on my scribble arrows. Thank you. My scribble lines. I want to be able to just draw and you can tell because that's the line I have chosen here. I have to go back to a solid. We go back to a solid and then I'll click on this one. And if I want to change something I've already drawn, I click on the selector and I go back and then I could just change it back to a solid line. And we go to a solid line. So now I have a chimney, but I can also, which is nice, I can also hand draw. I don't have to do everything with um, these fancy lines. Let's say I wanna do a 2X and I wanna go to green and I just want it to be green. I want it to be green and green like this because I'm gonna draw myself some grass here. I'm gonna put some grass, right? I'm just gonna do some grass and you'll notice it's gonna turn green, right? So here we go, I'm putting some little blades of grass, just one little thing. So it's all coming in black. Gotta love when it all comes in black, when I told it to be green. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Oh, and so I can pick up a whole bunch like this and I can make it green. So all I did was select over it and then I can make it green. So this is really what we call the Cadillac of the drawing tools within Google because it gives you the most options. I can try it has a um, more option than Jamboard and uh, Keep. Yep. So it's really this progression of like Keep is the lower end and then Jamboard, which gives you more options with the exception of colors. So if you're looking okay. to do a basic coloring component or writing things out or you want, you want it to be freehand, you want to be in Keep. If you want to do more with other options like images and drawing on images, you want to be in Jamboard. But if you really want to make your own images like this, maybe not this one, um, you want to be in drawings because you can do the most. So I'm going to actually save this. This is going to be special KBB because it sure is. So it's going to save and then I can download it. So um, all the other options, Keep allowed me to export an image over here and Jamboard allowed me to save a frame as an image, mm -hmm. but drawing gives me more options. Just like in slides, I can go to file, download, and now I have four options. I can save it as a PDF, which I could actually do in Jamboard, I can save it as a JPEG. I can save it as a PNG file. And I can actually save it as a scalable vector. So these are used very rarely. They're typically used by someone who does a lot of graphics work. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And it's going to say, hey, where do you want to put it? And it saves it as the name I have. And I'm just going to put it in here. Because what can I do with it? Because I have the ability to take that graphic now that I saved it and I can bring it in here. I'm back in my document and I can insert an image that I upload from my computer. It's on my desktop right there. And then I have it, which right. is really nice. So it's a pretty nice, it's an awesome tool. I think it's definitely underutilized because people don't know what okay. you can do with it. 
and it's easy. Mm. Like, you yeah, it's yeah. it. mm, yeah. it. Right, it's, it's easy. Only you have to know um, where the, all your tools are. Yeah, the main things that we typically use within drawings are the lines, the shapes, the text box, and the images. That's you need these four things right here. Yeah. As soon as you put one of them in, so if I used an arrow and put it in, everything pops up. Everything you need pops up as soon as you put in what you need. And that's what I like about it because it's nice and simple for students. Right? It's simple for students. So I, I've been encouraging people like try these tools out, you know, use them. And if you teach one to your students, it doesn't really matter the grade levels, you can easily jump to the next tools because they all stay the same. And right. they all use the same thing, which I really, really like. And then you can say to students, listen, I want you to make something and you can use keep or jam or drawings or, or pick which one you like the best. But, but which one do you think that um, with the kids, which one is more um, like understandable for kids? For, for who? Which one is more easier, e easy for the kids? Um, I'll tell you what, I, I've taught drawings to third graders. They love it. Now, kids love whiteboards, too, because they can, you know, only one student at a time could be in a, in a Google Drawing. But in a Jamboard, they can work together and they can collaborate together. Um, but I, I, whole class. I think they like those two best. Right. Okay, so that's it. So that's really a, like all the pieces of the training. And you'll notice that I put in these, um, these, it's got a full drawing toolbar in drawings. You can do this order so you can order your pieces. So this is layering. And then um, when you're thinking about the unique tools, really you're thinking about like what slides is like, because it's the same exact thing as slides. It's got the same exact toolbar. It's very easy to use. All right, so I'm right. going to stop sharing. We're all done. Yeah. I'm done early. Yay! Yeah. So, Thank you so much. It's, it is very um, interesting. I think I like it. It's, awesome. I, so, it, it's enjoyable. I, I will definitely. Well, I think it's um, 